Hi everyone, a lot of Muslims have been sending me videos claiming that a cat will not walk on the Quran, and they're presenting this as evidence for Islam, evidence that proves that the Quran is the word of God. <laughs> And there are tons of reaction videos where people, both Muslims and non-Muslims, are amazed that cats will not walk on the Quran. Oh snap! It's not stepping on it. Just how powerful the Quran, the Quran, the Quran. See, she will step on the Quran. Wow. Yo, the cat is literally walking around and over the Quran. Now, I have exactly one friend who has a cat, so I'm over at his house now. And like all arguments for Islam, this one is very, very strange. Suppose, for argument's sake, that cats will never walk on the Quran, but they'll walk on any other book in the world. Would this prove that the Quran is the word of God? Well, what if cats can just sense evil and they won't go near the Quran because they sense the evil? Why wouldn't you conclude that? Why wouldn't you conclude that since Muhammad ordered his followers to kill dogs, the perpetual enemies of cats, cats now love Muhammad forever and honor his book? Why wouldn't you conclude that? I don't know. But the other problem is that this is very easy to test. We're going to test right now whether a cat will walk on the Quran. Watch how easy this is to test. We have a can of sardines, and we have a cat. You're kidding. Oh my goodness. Look at those Qurans. Look at those Arabic, Arabic Qurans. Let's take away the food. The cat is still standing on a Quran. I thought that a cat will not walk on the Quran. That's the Arabic right there. Ordinary cat food. Why is this cat so quick to walk all over the Quran? Will you walk on it for a string? You'll walk on the Quran for a string? But I thought a cat will never walk on the Quran. That's the Arabic. That's the Arabic of the Quran that this cat is walking all over for a piece of string. It's not even going for food. This cat has absolutely no respect whatsoever for the Quran. Do you know why? It's because cats have absolutely no respect for anything. Is this cat possessed by a jinn? No respect for the Quran whatsoever. Some cats like laser pointers. Come here. Come here. Will you walk on the Quran for a laser point? Huh? It's so easy to get this cat to walk on the Quran. She's seeking knowledge from the Quran. She's seeking knowledge. Now the cat is just pawing randomly at the Quran. Oh my goodness. She's destroying my Qurans. So why do Muslims use arguments like this? It took me one to two seconds over and over again to get this cat to walk all over the Quran. Why do people claim that a cat will not walk on the Quran? Do you know how you do that? Do you know how you get those videos? You film a bunch of footage of a cat around a Quran, and then you post all the clips where the cat doesn't walk on the Quran. And then it's a miracle. Want to see how this is done? Here's a Bible. Let's see if the cat will walk on the Bible. She's standing on the Quran. Oh my goodness. She'll walk on the Quran, but won't walk on the Bible. Come on. Come here. Look. Look, I've got some food for you right here. Come. Walk on the, walk on the Bible. Walk on the Bible, cat. Oh my goodness, it's a miracle. This is the new proof 
that the Bible is the word of God. The cat will not walk on the Bible even for food. So why do Muslims post arguments like this? Why do they send me arguments like this that are so ridiculous and so easy to refute? They use this as arguments for Islam because they have nothing better. And guess what? If you go out and look up the rest of your arguments for Islam, they don't get any better than this, my friends. Go ahead, put it there. See, she will step on the Quran. Now, why did I have a cat walk on the Quran? Was it to insult the Quran? No, I did it because you guys post these ridiculous videos and send them to me claiming that this is your proof for Islam. So obviously, if this is proof, then I need to test it, right? I can't just accept what someone says, I have to test it. Well, guess what? I tested it and Islam failed. Now, if you put forward the claim that if a cat won't walk on something, then it must be the word of God, which is what you're arguing, are you now going to conclude that the Quran isn't the word of God because a cat will walk on it? Of course you won't. 